Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Bullet Panda. My name is Curtis. This is Kendrick, and we're going to be previewing the Dolphins game week 10 here at Qualcomm Stadium against our San Diego Chargers. And uh, let's get started. Um, going into this, uh, four and five, looking to be 500. Um, kind of a, a turnaround, coming full circle to 500 from a rough beginning of the season. Now, overall, um, their offense has struggled with passing the ball. They're a great run game, but Tannehill has been kind of a... Tannehill is one of these quarterbacks in the NFL that we like below to call average. accident waiting to happen. Below average. Say. He has like a 45 QBR, I think. He's the, he's the next Jake Keller and Tony Romo in the NFL. He's not, he's not too hot this season. Um, but they're running back. Jay Ajayi. Ajayi. Pretty good. You know how the Chargers are against the run. Pretty but good. I think the thing is that J.H.I. is a one-tone back, so if you can shut him down and force Ryan Tannehill to throw here to guys like Devontae Parker and Jordan Cameron and, oh my gosh, I'm just completely blanking on the wide receivers. The wide receivers are a very good group. But Stills they, and Landry? They're Jarvis both, Landry, yeah. That's they're both I'm injured, thinking. though. They're both banged well, up. We'll get to that. Yeah, we will. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. Um, that's going to be the, the big matchup regarding our – our game is really if we can if we can shut down their running back, and on the other side of the ball, um, they're fantastic at shutting down the pass game in terms of giving up yardage. Um, but run game, they're terrible at. So if we can, hey, Melvin Gordon coming off an almost two hundred yard game. Melvin Gordon go if he goes ham. Jai versus MG. Yeah, but it's it's also different though because we're our strength is shutting down the run, whereas their their weakness is the run. So if we just Give it to Melf, and then throw in the the pass there with your Philip Rivers, our Philip Rivers. We'll be fine. But besides that, there's a lot of injuries that we're dealing with. Um, Benjamin's still a little banged up. He didn't play last week, which I don't expect him to play this week either. I don't think he will either. With you. We don't need him. I think a lot of um, team leaders that they need for the rest of the season, they're kind of pushing to get back after the bye. Yeah. Like Perryman, I wouldn't be surprised if they kept him off the field this week. I don't week. think he plays either. Hunter Henry, I don't know if he would play either. They were fine without him last week. Uh, but getting into that, did not practice today. Thursday was Travis Benjamin, Jatavis Brown, Drew Kayser with an illness, which was a big question mark for me, and Denzel Perryman with his hamstring. Limited practice, uh, Jaleel Dye. Orlando Franklin was already back, even though he just suffered a concussion. And Hunter Henry was limited, so was Tyrell Williams. I think the guys on there, I think Jaleel Adai might try to get it to go. We'll see. He'll be bang bang up until the last minute. I think if, as long as Orlando Franklin passes concussion protocol today, mm -hmm. he's going to be good to go. Yeah. I think Tyrell Williams, it sounds like he's going to be good to go. Don't think Hunter Henry's going to play. And like we said, Travis Benjamin yeah. and Denzel Perryman, they're going to push them through the bye week. Definitely. And then on the Dolphins side, they have some key players that are that could miss Sunday's game. So players that did not practice today, um, their cornerback Howard, starting cornerback, didn't play, and that's huge because their secondary has uh, performed pretty well this season. And then, like I was saying, their starting receivers, Landry and Stills, did not play. So that could be huge for the Chargers as well, um, being that their pass game has been yeah, weak it's, already. It's Devontae Parker and Jordan Cameron is the only option. But Casey Hayward on him. You. Flowers. You got flowers. Hayward. It's good. Yeah. That's it. Done deal. And then um, limited practice was their starting offensive guard. No joke. His name is Bushrod. Um, sure, Javad Bushrod or something. German Bushrod? Yeah, it's German with a J. Yep. And then their starting safety, Isa Abdul Kudus. Kudus? Abdul Kudus. Kudus. Abdul Kudus. Pretty good, too. Yeah. So those two starters also limited. Um, I think they would both play. One's a shoulder, one's an ankle injury. So we'll see what happens for them. And then keys of the game, Melvin Gordon improves his average from 3.6 last week to 4.0 after his improvement of a game. How about that guy? How about that guy? How about that guy? Run MG. Game Keep plan running Pro them. Uno. Keep running. This is a priority one. You run MG. Definitely. This game has to be run heavy. Especially with Miami's weakness being the run in terms of stopping it. Absolutely. And then going on from that, we had no giveaways last week, which is huge for our team. We had some takeaways. So if we continue to do that formula, uh, we'll be 
in good shape. The Dolphins don't have a lot of defensive playmakers, and mm -hmm. I think that plays in too. So if we play our game, we play it right, run MG, those short dump offs to Gates and Tyrell and Dontrell, I think we're gonna be just fine in the turnover department. Yeah, and also um, just forcing pressure on Tannehill, letting Ingram, Bosa, the whole defensive front go yeah, ham you know, on him. Joey Bosa, after going up against, um, and I spaced on his name for Michigan State, Conklin, Jack Conklin, Conklin yeah. last week, I didn't think Bosa performed very well against Conklin. Um, he's kind of banged up on the ankle. But this week, former almost charger Larry Tunzel comes to town. So watch for Bosa versus Tunzel this week. We'll see how that performs. Almost with an asterisk being that it was a fake rumor or a illegitimate rumor. Hey man, somebody wanted to troll on our Civil War talk with uh, Jalen Ramsey and, <laughs> and Tunzel Civil War, but that's you know, true. It it worked out okay. We got Captain America Joey Bosa out there. Something I want to bring up that I feel like is not getting much attention is currently we have a top five quarterback, obviously Phil Rivers, and a top five running back on our Chargers offense. Now, that's, Top five quarterback, Kelly Clemens, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but you know what I mean. Uh, Phil's always been a great quarterback, but now he has a running back to, that's producing well yep. for our team, and that's huge for our offense. And I, I want to look up the stat in terms of when the last time that's been a thing, but, you know, Ryan right. Matthews Probably has kind of been in, in and out. LNT, LT was good near the end, and then the very end he kind of – Fell apart, but and Melvin Gordon's having that LT 2005-2007 impact in there. Like, yeah, 2006. And he's it's only he's only in his second year, so. And you talk about a healthy line. That's what's helping him the most, Curtis. So we're keeping him out there. Keeping him healthy. Um, one note I want to make that I should have made during the injuries was uh, DJ Fluker will wear a face guard for this game, still nursing an eye infection that he played through on Sunday. So. He's a real MVP. That. He played till the whistle. Still got a flag thrown on Fluker. him. Had one eye. A lot of people like to say a lot about. Tom Telesco in his first round picks, but DJ Fluker, my goodness, man, what a beast. Playing like a champion. And then always one of my last keys to the game is going to be finishing the game. We did it last week, and let's do it again this week. Play to win the game. Defense, force those turnovers. Let's go 5-5. Five and five. All right, bolt up San Diego. See you next time.